Hello Sagittarius, thank you very much for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Veli Matero by Renata Lechner. For the support of Oracle Cards, the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Already shuffled. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius. What is happening? Okay, you got justice here. Um, justice is... <laughs> double justice. This seems to be a thing lately. Alright, this is... This does remind me of the Pisces read a little bit. Alright, so we'll just go with it. And the reason I'm saying that is it's kind of about one person and the other person and how you're relating to each other. Justice is in between. You got Justice at the bottom of the deck. You also have the Justice card, Tarot card between you. And you have Isis Inspiration. Who is being helped here? We'll find out. Um, there's, there's something going on here. Because on your side, you're relating to somebody. And there's Justice and Isis... I feel like Isis inspiration coming in with that justice is like there's a misunderstanding of some sort. And Isis inspiration is like the two of you need to get this taken care of or else there could be an unwanted repercussion. There could be a severing of ties, possibly, that I don't think you really want. Let's keep going a little farther, just to be sure. Because these cards come in first. You have the... The Knight of Swords, and what's that other one? The Seven of Wands. I feel like you're standing your ground. You're saying what you believe. You are coming forward, standing your ground, and saying what you believe. This seems good enough. The Nine of Wands is also here. There is some... I really feel like there's some part of disappointment going on here. Some level of... Um, angst or... I don't want to say sadness, just disappointment... Something where things are not matching up the way you'd like them to. Something feels unbalanced here. Something definitely feels unbalanced to me, which I feel like is why justice is between you and this person, with the Isis inspiration, of course. You, you know something is out of focus. Something is out of focus. I feel you stand, you're, you're standing your ground, and you should. And you're going forward with it. Something didn't sit right. Something wasn't received right. Something didn't come across right. Part of you is having that inkling and you know something is off. That nine of that nine of wands is telling me you're very well aware that something is about to come forward. I feel like you're misunderstood. You've been misunderstood. I feel like you've been misunderstood. But I'm also getting the wisdom here. It seems to be it's gonna come more into play a little later. You're I'm getting a, a very strong strike of intelligence. Like, you're very smart, but they're saying, hold on to your wis wisdom. You might have to absorb a little more to find out how you were received. This may be, this may be the difference between what was said and what was heard. You know what I mean? When somebody says to you, I don't want to go there with you. Like, I don't want to go there with you. If somebody says that to you, they might mean, literally, they don't want to go to the grocery store with you. You might take that as if they don't want to go anywhere with you. You know what I mean? It's like the, that's the difference. Like they may have meant just for today, I don't want to go anywhere with you. You may have taken it. You don't ever want to go anywhere with me. You know what I mean? And it's it's a different feeling. You know what I mean? And it might be something like like that. If I say you know what I mean to the camera one more time, that's not going to answer to me. I swear to God. Um. <laughs> um. um this is the other person. They're not happy. Ooh, they're not happy. Um, two of swords, eight of swords, three of wands. I don't like this. I really, really, really don't like this. They have the friendship card here. They do value you. They do like you. They're not telling you something. I'm getting something was misunderstood. You stood your ground. You told your truth. 
this person took it the wrong way. That three of wands especially makes me very uncomfortable because they don't feel like they have a voice. This person doesn't feel like they have a voice. They're feeling trapped. They're feeling like they need to move on. I feel like they're upset. They do value you as a friend. They don't feel like they have a voice with you, though. I, something was misunderstood. I'm getting you stood your ground. You said how you felt. It was taken the wrong way. I'm getting this person does not feel like they have a voice. This is a problem. This is a big problem. This is, um, it's the question, are they going to move on or are they considering moving on? They might be holding back with their truth and they might not be telling you what they're feeling, but it's because they got the two of swords and the eight of swords. The two of swords is indecision. The eight of swords is feeling trapped. The two of these together makes me feel like this person does not believe they have a voice. They don't believe they'll be heard. They don't believe they can say how they feel and that you'll absorb it or respond to it. They feel like you've already stood your ground and said where you stand and how you feel. And if they come back with how they feel, they'll just get it shoved back at them. You've already said what you feel and that's that. They don't feel like they have a voice. They don't feel like it's worth saying something because it won't be received. And they're considering the three of wands. They're considering the walking away. I feel bad about it because they do like you a lot. They do want to be your friend. They do have a friendly energy towards you. They just don't feel like they have a voice. This is this is very upsetting. Um, this is sad to me. I'm getting wisdom on your side. I feel like they I feel like they do have a voice. They do. And if they came to you and talked to you about what you said and how they took it. This could be a conversation you would talk it out with them. Granted, you do have energy at times where you just come forward and you just put it very raw about what you're thinking. But that doesn't make you... That doesn't mean that you won't talk it out and explain better about how you feel. And it doesn't mean you won't address how it made somebody else feel. I don't... Especially, this is a friendly energy. You're not looking to make anybody feel bad. But I feel like... When you were standing your ground, I feel like you've had to stand your ground with other people. And I, I think this other person took it the wrong way. I think they, they took it as if you were standing up against them, like they were trying to oppress you or something. That's not, I don't feel like that was the truth, because I don't think they'd be your friend if that was really the truth. But I feel like you were explaining something, and somehow they got warped up in it somehow, and they felt like you were coming at them with it instead of explaining it. I'm getting, like, hurt feelings. I do feel hurt feelings on this side. Uh, I do feel hurt feelings over here on the other person's side. I'm getting it's a misunderstanding that you're not even aware of. Ugh, I don't think you're aware of it. One way you might be able to tell after the fact, especially if somebody doesn't really respond much to you or they seem to keep it very short and sweet, if you're not seeing them as much as you used to, that might be a big indicator. Like, they seem to be busy a lot all of a sudden. All of a sudden, they seem to be busy. That's like an indicator. How are you supposed to do this if you're not aware of it, though? Oh, how are you supposed to fix this? Because I feel like... I don't feel like you want to lose this friendship. And I feel like you have to help this person as a friend. I feel like you want to empower them, not only with you, but with other people. This is not only a pattern they have with you. Excuse me. They don't just have this pattern with you. And I feel like you could be helping your friend by helping them see that they have a voice with you, helping them also have a voice with other people that they feel like they don't have a voice with. This friendship card is very strong. I'm getting that this conversation somehow has to come forward. If you ever, if you've recently, it's a recent conversation, it has to be. Because I feel like this person's kind of, they're kind of fading away. I don't know, they feel like they, they feel trapped. They feel trapped and like they don't have a voice. That's a very dangerous thing. Because when somebody doesn't feel like they have a voice, they just tend to sink and they get lost in that negativity and they just, it's very unempowering. And if you can help this person, like they're your friend. I get that they're your friend. They could be somebody closer than that. Could be a family member. Could even be your, could even be your spouse. Be careful. Because if they're shying away lately, it could be something was said and they took it the wrong way. This person needs to get empowered. You might be able to help them with that. 
And I feel like because they're your friend, I feel like you would. It's just about finding out what it was and getting them to talk about it. Because I don't feel an argument coming from this. I feel like if you get them talking, that's all it takes for them, for you to come forward them and get them talking would empower them enough for them to bring it forward. And they would tell you. I just feel like it makes me unhappy because I feel like, I don't really feel like you see what's going on here. You might only see that they're pulling back and wonder why they're pulling back. If you see somebody in your life that means a lot to you that's pulling back and doesn't seem to be showing you much attention, as, at least as much as they used to, you might want to just start a conversation and just see if things are okay, just do like a sound check conversation. I'm getting they will tell you because that's enough to give them the impression that they're empowered and I do feel like you want this to happen. It will help you and them. It helps them feel more empowered, but I also feel like it helps you understand how the information comes off once in a while because I feel like when you have a message to say and you are in a powerful moment, it can come forward very strong. And I feel like you want this information because in other areas of your life as well, it's not just about it's not about just being right, but you need to be heard. Somebody once said to me, you can be right all day, you can be right to your blue in the face, but if people are closing their minds and closing their ears and they're not hearing you, it doesn't matter. If nobody hears you, you can be right about everything you're saying, but if it's having no effect, that's a problem. And if you, I feel like this can go both ways. You could help them feel more empowered. They can help you understand how sometimes you're being received, so it can empower both of you. Are we there? I think we're there. I hope this works out. I really do. Because you got double justice here and the Isis inspiration. I'm getting this can work out. It's just about figuring it out. I apologize, but I do feel like it's on your shoulders to get the conversation going. Unless, hopefully, in some cases, you're the person who's dealing with a Sagittarius and you're a little upset about something. This is your cue to start that conversation and to realize you are empowered. Just start the conversation. I don't feel it'll be an argument. Just start the conversation. Are we good? Good. All right. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.